Since we're in Chicago and we've never had Chicago deep dish pizza before, we decided today we're gonna try all of the best Chicago deep dish pizza restaurants around. Let's start. Deep dish pizza was invented in Chicago in 1943 at Pizzeria Uno. So Pizzeria Uno is the original, but there's even some of those not very far from where we live because it's a chain. So we used the internet to find some other places and even one recommended by our friends. That's right. We're gonna skip the originator and head right to another one of the best known places, Lou Malnati's. Lou Malnati's has been serving deep dish pizza since the 70s. Are you saying Illuminati or Lou Malnati's? I was saying Boo Earns. It's not a conspiracy. It's Lou Malnati's. I read that Lou's father, Rudy, is actually the one who invented deep dish pizza over at Pizzeria Uno, but that's debatable. But what's not debatable is that with locations all over the Chicago area, this is one of the best places you can get deep dish pizza. I just got our first pizza and man, it's heavy. <laughs> Let's take a look. Ooh, smells good. Looks very saucy. It is so yummy, so cheesy, like real good cheese. And there's like a layer of sausage just covering the pizza. It's weird. The, the sauce is on the top. I still am not, like, that's just not a thing for me. But I like this one. This you better get used to it. <laughs> I know, I know. It's the thing, but... That crust is heavenly. I think these are the ones that have the trademark butter, butter crust, crust, right? Yeah. yeah. It's like crusty, but also, I don't know. It's pretty perfect. It's like a pretty crusty crust, but it's almost like pie crust. Look at that cheese pull. The layer of sausage is really good because you're getting it in every bite. That cheese tastes really fresh and great. The sauce is almost like a little sweet or something. The, the crust is interesting. I you haven't try. even tried the crust crust. You gotta eat the crust I crust. Know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's how you know you got a good pizza. It's buttery and crispy. It is sort of pie-ish, but not exactly. I don't know, it is somewhere in between like a thin crust pizza and a pie. But yeah, that's delicious, and I am looking forward to more bites of this and more pizza today. Up next, we're gonna try Paisano's back here, which is another highly rated deep dish pizza place, but they're only open for pickup, so I'm gonna go pick it up at that window right back there. Here's where it gets weird. Paisano's was open in 1991 by Rudy Malnati Jr. So all three pizza places are kind of related? Yeah, they're all the same family. Weird. It is weird, but I guess that's Chicago deep dish for you. Shall we dig in? It smells good. Mm -hmm. Smells nice and pizza-y. Even though it had less of a cheese pull, it almost seems cheesier to me. I ordered extra cheese on it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted the cheese pizza because I personally love cheese pizza. Their famous pizza, their most popular, is a combination that has like sausage, pepperoni, I think Canadian Peppers, bacon. Onion. Oh, here? Well, there's a meat one, but there's also just like the classic one that's... Oh, because I saw the, the thing online said the most popular had all like oh, okay. a, just a bunch of meat. So, but I just, I knew we were going to probably eat a lot of other meat pizzas. So I was like, please just a lovely cheese pizza just for me. And I guess I'll share it with you. Oh, <laughs> uh, sausage, I don't feel like it's quite as sweet and it does seem cheesier, but I guess that makes sense that you got extra cheese. I also paid extra for, I think it was also called a butter crust. So maybe it's not so trademarked but I paid for like the butter on the crust as well. Buttery crust. Buttery crust is what it said. Oops. Mm, um, dropping tomatoes. Dropping tomatoes. This is definitely some cheese. I don't even think I needed to order extra cheese. It has so much cheese. You know, I, I think the crust just isn't as good, but let me take a bite of the, the crust itself. It's a little thicker, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one just tastes more like a pizza crust to me. It's still different than your typical pizza crust, but the other one was so flaky. It was seriously like 
of non-sweet pie crust. I do. It was delightful. And I think this one is kind of similar, but I don't, I don't like it as well. I also don't like the sauce as well. I think like the, the oregano sweet, and stuff, yeah, like it's, it's less sweet, which some people probably like, but you know, overall, I think this one is still a good pizza. Still I good. would eat there again, but I am not quite as in love with it as I, I really, Malnati's. yeah, I really loved Lou Malnati's pizza. It's not a conspiracy. <laughs> I have to say, one thing that I have loved so far about both Chicago deep dish, deep dish places we tried is you can just taste the real good quality mozzarella. Like you don't find cheese like this in most places. Even when they're good pizza and good cheese, it's, it's not this good of quality of cheese. Okay. Do you agree? It's good. Okay. Jeremy doesn't agree. Jeremy thinks it's on par with cheese. <laughs> Love and marriage, love and marriage. It's very exciting, it looks the same. <laughs> it's together like a horse and a fountain without water. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's the one. That's the thing. We walked like a mile out of the way so we could see a fountain without water. <laughs> I've seen it before and I can tell you, it looks way better with water in it. <laughs> that's fair, I have not seen it. We've made it to our next stop, which is Pequod's Pizza. This place is consistently making the top rated best pizzas in Chicago lists. And our friends who used to live in Chicago, they told us this is their favorite place. So let's go try some Pequod's. This whole neighborhood is so cute. I love it here. I think this area is called Sheffield Neighbors. I've never been here before, but it's absolutely adorable here. So, I learned, Pequod's does not cut the pizza unless you ask for it. It comes uncut. So, if you come to Pequod's and you want your pizza cut, you gotta say, hey, please cut my pizza. <laughs> so Pequod's has been doing their spin on deep dish pizza since the 70s. And they have two locations, but they're both on the north side of Chicago. Second reveal, this time with a cut pizza, yay! So immediately, you see their caramelized cheese crust and that the toppings aren't under the cheese and the sauce like most of the other deep dish pizzas. Oh yeah, I see. They actually do put the toppings on the top. The caramelized crust is basically just cheese that they put on the outside of the pan to make sure that it caramelizes on that edge there. And that is like the one thing that people rave about when they eat Pequot's. The crust looks thicker than the other places, mm -hmm. but then the end piece of the crust, like the piece that usually the other two like have stuck out real tall, it's not there. Definitely seems different so far. You want to give it a whirl? Let's go for it. It's almost more like a mixture of the deep dish we've had earlier and like a standard pizza. The crust is a little thicker and you have your toppings on top of the cheese and the sauce, but I think I need to try this. Caramelized, caramelized crust. cheese crust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I love cheese and I will eat like the crunchy cheese edges off of anything. Your mouth is just a big, delicious, chewy, caramelized piece of cheese. The main crust reminds me of Lou Malnati's. It's kind of more like flaky buttery like that, but it's almost a little bit more like bread. It's very soft, but then it has a real nice crunch on the bottom there. That was a really good crust. Now let's try the, uh, the caramelized crust. I'm not the biggest fan of the caramelized crust. I like it, I like it. I, I thought it would taste burnt. It doesn't taste burnt. It's not I'm for me. It. I'm it's, digging it. It's not for me. It's not bad. Let me take another bite. But I'm gonna say, <laughs> maybe offensive to someone that loves Pequod's because I'm really enjoying this. I like this a lot, but I'm gonna make a comparison that might make someone upset. I feel like this is what Pizza Hut's like deep dish pizza wishes it was. Like if it was good, that's what this would be. Okay. Because it's kind of got that thicker crust on the bottom and the crusty edge, but like if the ingredients were all good and actually delicious. For me, I, I it's not my favorite. I, so far, my, my favorite has been Lou Malnati's. I can't decide if it would rank second or third, but I think for me, 
I'm not a big fan of like heavy meat toppings, which if you are, you'll enjoy that. I'm not the biggest fan of the crust. It's like almost kind of chewy, the caramelized crust. I like it. I just, I definitely prefer like the butter crust at Lou Malnati's to this crust. Also, one thing I have to observe, so much sauce and just like a sprinkling a little bit of cheese. I noticed a prominent cheese presence in the other two pizzas. It is not happening here. And I am just like really into cheese. I like cheese pizza, light sauce, and this has got a lot of sauce. Like this is this is like a slice of heartburn for me. I think it's I think it's good. It's just like I understand why people love this place. It's just not it's not for me. Sorry Pequods, I really wanted to love you. <laughs> About a mile west of Wrigley Field is Bartoli's. Now this place is a newer establishment. They've only been around since 2013, but they've won tons of awards, and a lot of locals say this is where you get the best deep dish. So we're gonna see if they're right. Open that puppy up. That looks quite delightful also. This is the stockyard. It basically is just a whole bunch of meats. It has, oh my gosh, so many things, Italian beef, Sausage, pepperoni, prosciutto. prosciutto. I'm missing something. Bacon, probably. <laughs> oh yeah, bacon. It's it's just a bunch of meat. It's their go-to. It's the the popular one here. Oh yeah, I see a piece of bacon right there. So let's dig in. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Is that your favorite now? The flavor in this one is amazing. Yeah. It's super cheesy. It's a little heavy on the sauce, but that's okay. It blends, like the sauce is like nice and seasoned. It's a very savory sauce. It's got a lot of meat happening and it's all very flavorful. Dang, that is a good slice of pizza. Let's try the crust. That's an interesting crust. I'm trying to pinpoint what it reminds me of. It's definitely got more of like a corn flavor to it. It's more dense. The crust here is kind of like Paisano's, but it has a thin, crispy crust throughout the rest of the pizza that I really enjoy. This one is really good. I still think Luminati's butter crust is the best crust, but this is like, dang, all around good toppings and stuff. The sauce is definitely, I think, more savory on this one. It's not quite as sweet as some of the other ones. Still have the thin, like, crisper crust on the bottom. Um, haven't actually gone for the crust yet. The back end. Yeah, the crust is kind of more like Paisano's. Somewhere like in between the Paisano's and the Lou Minotti's. It's not quite as buttery as the Lou Minotti's. But it's good. I, it's probably not my favorite, but it, I like it. Really? Yeah. I love this one. I will just take my piece back then. I don't know. For me, so far, I like the toppings and like all around goodness of this one but with the crust of Luminati's. And yours is, is yours Pequod's? Is that your favorite? I'm still debating between Luminati's and Pequod's. All right, none of these are bad pizzas. No. But we're kind of a divided house on which one's the best other than we agree on Luminati's. Luminati's is really good. It's not a conspiracy. It's not a conspiracy. It's good pizza. <laughs> I don't know, what do you guys think? Have you tried any of the deep dish pizzas in Chicago? Are we missing one that you think is better? Or if you haven't had any of these places, let us know which one that you would like to try. I think I satisfied two things on this trip. Seeing the Home Alone house and having a lovely cheese pizza just, just for, for you. me. What are we gonna do with all this pizza? Eat it for like three days. <laughs> yeah, probably.